You, when you started out, you obviously uh, bought your trailers or someone built your trailers for you. But I know now that, that you are now building your own trailers. You started, uh, let's call it a, a, a manufacturing uh, plant. Uh, how did that journey come about? Yeah, so I think just the natural evolution of, of the business, you know. Um, the beginning, we didn't have the capacity to build our own, so we bought them in. And then as we grew, we got to a place where we could actually uh, manufacture our own, get the paperwork in order to do that. And uh, it's, been, it's been a blessing for us. Obviously, you can save a lot and you can go a lot further, faster, if you can manufacture. Um, yeah, and, I, and I've always enjoyed manufacturing. I've always enjoyed that part. I think uh, if you had to ask me what would I enjoy more, building or, 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 or working with customers, I, I really enjoy the building part. You know, it's, it's, it's something, something special for me regarding that. And I think it's one of those things. I think um, if you are in an industry long enough, it doesn't matter what the industry is, that industry will always open up new opportunities. I think you will you will be able to testify. You're in in let's say you're in law. The longer you're in that, the more doors in that industry opens. You might start off by focusing only on one area of the law, but the moment if if you stay in that area long enough, there's going to be spin-offs and doors opening in that industry, and that's why it's important to to settle. You know, um, to choose where you want to be and spend time in that industry. And as you grow in what you're doing, more doors will open. And I think that's just kind of what we've seen. Yeah, so now we, there's a couple of things we do. At the beginning, we started off by just, just renting. And now we manufacture, we supply spare parts. Uh, we do a lot of things in that industry. Uh, and it's just, if you're long enough, enough in something, additional doors will open. That's a great point. And we alluded to the, the thousand days of, of being in a business. And N Naval Ravikant also says that it takes 10 years to, to really <laughs> get your, your footing in, in a certain area of expertise. And it, it just makes sense. And, and some of us, or maybe all of us, uh, me included, I mean, I'm a year now in, in my business and in my firm. And I mean, you want everything now. <laughs> you're looking at, at people and you're like, I, I want that success. I, and then you hear the story and they've been at it for 15 years or for 20 years or, or whatever the case might be. And, and that's part of the journey. You, you can't skip that. Uh, you have to go through that. And a certain thing you just mentioned in, in passing and you just, just jumped th through it. And, and I think there's a little bit more to it. And you just like you said with the, the trailer building, uh, you get the paperwork in order. Uh, can anyone just start building trailers uh, or, or how, is, is, yeah, how does it work? Are there regulations? Yeah, so firstly, anyone can build a trailer, but not anybody can get it licensed to be on a road. <laughs> and having a trailer that's not licensed doesn't mean much. So obviously there's a lot of red tape, a lot of uh, paperwork that needs to be done. You can't just build a trailer. You can build your own and then you can go through a very long and tedious process to get it registered onto the road. Um, <clears throat> but that's a very long process. Um, so you need to, you need to basically uh, register yourself at the Department of Traffic as a registered manufacturer, which is a pretty long process, pretty tedious process. Um, <clears throat> but if, again, it's one of those things, if you decide that you're gonna do something, you need to stick to your guns and just go for it. Yeah. There's always going to be enough reasons to give up, <laughs> that I can promise you. There's always going to be enough reasons not to start at all. Um, but, but if you don't start, nobody's going to start it for you. Nobody's going to do it for you. You need to decide, listen, this is what I'm going to go for. for. And, and also, uh, you, know, you don't have to go for everything. I think uh, uh, many times in my life I've been, maybe I should do that, maybe I should try that. But it's also being at a place where, hey, no, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Let me focus on what I want to do and let me go for that. And then have the tenacity just to push through.